Am I on? Amen. Integrity. The Bible says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely. But he who takes crooked path will be found out. At the site, that was um, three days ago. Was it Tuesday or so? Three days ago will be on Wednesday, right? Wednesday. A guy, I asked, I gave a project to a guy to do at the side day. And they didn't finish the work. So, the next day I told him, if they are not done, I won't pay them. Do you know something? The guy came to me on Wednesday, is it Wednesday? No. Wednesday night, yes. Because I left the site and I was in the house. And he told me that they have done the work. <laughs> In that very night i said okay if you guys have done the work but i warned him i said look if you know you have not done the work tell me the truth he said oh pastor i've done the work we just left the, in that night around eight to nine can you guys on this amen yeah and i said okay so my mother was there when i warned him and i said look if you have not done this work, it will not end well with the two of us. He said, oh, pastor, I've done it. I said, okay. Oh. <laughs> and I paid him. Amen. Oh, amen. Today, I went to the site. The work was still not done. From Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today. And I told former, I said, this guy will regret it. He came to the site and he started passing corners. He couldn't even pass in front of me. And I was quiet. So I passed a message and I said they should tell him he shouldn't venture appearing in at the site or anywhere. I, he should just go far. Anybody that can lie to you can kill you. No, am I talking to you? The Bible said the devil is the father of all lies. So any liar is a devil. A pathological liar like you you are still praying in tongues the reason why a lot of people will not enter into heaven who are in the church is because they lack integrity integrity number one what is integrity integrity is adherence to morals and ethics principles adherence to morals and ethnic principles if you have integrity you must adhere to morals and what morals and what principles there should be a principles that governs your life am i talking to a believer here no are we in church yes morals and principles there must be morals that governs your life. Everybody is going that direction. I won't go there. Am I talking to somebody at all? You would desire to be unique. You be de you desire to be exceptional. Ordinariness is sickness. Number two, what is integrity? Integrity is soundness of moral character. Soundness of moral character. Look at your character. Look at the way you behave. Look at the things that are piled in your heart. Moral character. Where are you? Oh, I'm just in front of your door. But you are far away. No moral character. Some of you can even stand in front of a pastor, a man of God, and lie. You are going straight to hell. I know you were not ready for this sermon. I know. Amen. Oh, amen. Moral character. You must develop that character if you want to work with God. Number three. What is integrity? Integrity. I'm not getting the back screen. No. 
Integrity. Integrity is honesty, transparency, and consistency in words and action. Stop lying. Stop what? Stop lying. Be honest with yourself. Stop being a hypocrite. Amen. Stop it. Stop it. Stop lying. Whatever you lie about, you pay for it. Are you honest? Amen. How do, you, so how do some of you sleep when you know very well you are lying? How do you sleep? And how do you feel okay? Do you know something? You can never be blessed by God if you are not honest. An unbeliever that is honest with good morals and character, God will bless that person and leave you. I know I'm preaching to the wrong people. Amen. Yeah, you are not clapping because I know. You don't like what I'm preaching. You, you, are, you are not ready for it. And that is what I'm preaching. Hallelujah. Yeah. Character. Number what? Number four. Integrity is wholeness, completeness, and unity of character. Huh. When I when we started this church program, a uh, project, it has taught me a lot of lessons. Are we together here? A lot, a lot of lessons. A lot of things have changed in me. If your character is bad, your life will be bad. If your character is bad, your life will remain stagnant. Ujogo, usubai. Amen. Your character. Character is everything. And integrity should be something you desire and you pray and you pray. Pray for it. Integrity. Today I didn't come to preach. I came to talk to you. Integrity. Can you be trusted? Who can trust you? Just look at yourself. Are you not tired of what you are doing to yourself? Are you not tired with the life you are living? Integrity. Hey, lose everything, but don't lose your integrity. Look at Kwame Nkrumah. You cannot trace any one percent of scandal against the man. Have you ever heard Kwame Nkrumah was corrupt? But today, you can trace a corruption to all the president is, is it in the uh, 21st, uh, uh, Fourth Republic. You can trace corruption to all of them. Corruption. I'm telling you. From JJ, there was corruption. Yeah, he was honest, but some of his people were corrupt. They stole, some of them stole state property. Come to JJ. Uh, 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 Am I talking to somebody at all? The only person that wanted to fight corruption that didn't live long was Atamis. Come to Jomama, corruption. When you come to Nana Showboy, <laughs> Yahoo. Oh, amen. No, this one there is a state, is a state, state corrupt. This one is more than corruption. Yeah. Chinye, Chinye that was walking on the street. Today, Chinye is having three V8 following him. All his ministers are corrupt. The only president that have over 100 plus ministers. And he's still adding some. Very corrupt. Can we trace 1% of integrity that know upon all this person was honest to, to humanity? Am I talking to somebody at all? Now with five months to election, 
They are not bringing bulldozers to pull a road. Let's, you see how politicians fool most of you. They are bringing bulldozers. And I heard they are bringing is it, uh, some money to every constituency. Or, or am I the one who didn't hear it well? Ah, Monkajan, why are you guys looking very righteous than me? Uh, they are bringing some money to every constituency. I am telling you that money will not do anything. No, are we together here? Yeah. And they are bringing bulldozer to every... For what? Five months to... And I heard they are building new schools and they have started in Accra. That should show you how corrupt the country is. All the better schools are in Accra. And where? Kumasi. Why don't they move to the remote areas and start from afresh? Me? Even if you put a pastor there, he will be corrupt. I'm telling you, unless the pastor is a born again pastor, he will be more corrupt than these people. Am I talking to somebody at all? Very corrupt generation. No iota of integrity. Have you ever lied to your husband and take money before? Tell me the truth. Have you ever asked him for money and you didn't use it for the purpose why you asked for the money? When you ask for money, you see the same thing you ask for. Have you ever, have you ever lied to get money from him? Huh? You have never lied before. To take money from him. Have you ever told him you were somewhere whereby you are not there before? You are not there. You have never lied to him. This is integrity. Integrity will give you confidence to defend yourself. Some of you today, even me as your pastor, you can't give me your phone. No, I'm telling you. Let me ask all the ladies to start giving me their phone. Remove your lock. You see that the church will collapse today. Papa, what do you want my phone for? I'm telling you, you can look up. Don't even share. I like the way the church is quiet. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, you won't clap because you are one of them. I know you came that prophet to look into my issue. Today you came and met a, diff a different prophet. The Lord bless you for coming. You better clap. No, when you front your face, you give me the capacity to say more. But when you make your face look good, you are telling me to change the topic. Amen. Number what? Number five. Integrity. Integrity is unwavering commitment to principles and values. Principles and values that cannot be shaken. Nobody can change you, no matter the position you are, you can change. Am I talking to somebody at all? In this church, I treat everybody equally. Nobody is unique. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. I'm not talking to the chair, so I'm talking to you guys. Amen. Yeah. Integrity. There are things you cannot set me up with. Oh yes. And you, you won't get me. You can't even get me. There was a conversation that went on. And they said they should wait. Very soon, somebody will bring out my issue. And I said, me, I know you people don't like me. So whatever I would do that you guys will not get me, you won't get me. Be intentional about protecting your integrity. Are we together here? Near Kangoy, near Kangoy Yelkuman. Come upon Kabakuma Libri come me church. Libri Nabayan Kumana. I think I'm Bari Yele Mine Yelibu. I think I'm Yel Kam and Koba. Banya ma, in Nuarana. In Nuaran Kuman Pogana Yelana. No, are we together? To give me money and shut my mouth, you won't get me. You are bringing me money, so I will not talk about some things. And I will not. This is who I am. This is how God called me. After church, I'm the most quiet person you can ever meet. I mind my business. Oh, amen. Oh, yes. This guy's brother, uh, I think it was the same lay. Yeah, he brought the brother. When I was prophet, the guy went back and started misbehaving. Today, the prophecy I gave the guy, he's where? He's in the cells. Eh? Yeah. He's in the cells. I told him you have a national problem. I 
an issue that will be very serious that nobody can stand by him. Am I talking to somebody at all? No, are we in church? Today, he is, are you not the one who asked you to go and give him some water? Did he, did he drink the water? He sent it inside. He didn't drink it. That's why I told you guys, force him, let him sit there and drink the water. And they shall say, walk of our in here. Integrity. All the uh, uh, siblings of this guy's mother. I know no matter what the mother will be proud of this young man. But how he handled the issues of the family. He is not doing womanizing. Well focus on his family and focus on himself. You are not clapping. Integrity. Have your mother ever insulted you that he regret giving birth to you before? He's always happy with you. If she wants money, you forward it. You will be forwarding to your mother and leave your wife. When well, your mother is not there, this is your mother. Now this is your friend. I'm not saying don't take care of your mother, but make your wife happy. Huh? <laughs> the first school of rebellion is when you have a leader and the wife is not happy with you as a pastor. The church can never grow. I'm the wife can turn their husbands against you. That's why you see me. All the wives of the men in the church, I'm close to the wives more than the husbands. Amen. Yeah. Your value. You don't have any integrity. You go and lie here. You go and beg here. Beg here. Beg here. And you begin to gossip and put people heads together. Sister, can I tell you something? Stop sending your friends to your boyfriend's house. You yourself don't go to your boyfriend's house if he has not married you. You don't understand. When you grow, you understand. Amen. Integrity. Number six. Integrity is truthfulness, sincerity, and authenticity. Integrity is moral uprightness, honesty, and decency. How decent are you? How decent are you? Amen. Be decent in all that you do. Be decent. Be decent. Whatever you do, God will judge you. Be decent. There is no shortcut to please God. Be decent. When we correct you in church, be more happier than what your teacher correct you on. No, am I talking to someone at all? Yes. Love to be in God's presence whereby what you don't want to hear, you begin to hear the right way that will change your spirit and your life. If you come in and I tell you receive, yes, you receive. But your character can resist the receiving. Am I talking to somebody at all? Yeah. When they were working here, one of the leaders of the church stood in front of me and lied. Lie. And I was like, hey, young man, call back. Call back the person and say, I am sorry. What I said wasn't the truth. Now this, this is the truth. In church, he lied. Where is the fear of God? No, are we together? Yeah. Me, it's better you tell me the truth than to lie to me. When I find the truth, you are finished. Do you know truth? It hurt, but you get healed early. But if you lie, you need another lie to keep it. Today, go and change your wardrobe. Your wardrobe call character, your behavior. Change it. I said what? Change. The things you are doing with your life. The things you say about others. <laughs> if you know what is ahead of you, you will be careful. Integrity. Amen. Oh, amen. 
there was a day can you see your sister the yellow man baba can you are in foul kaboy you may not oh you be it and they can be it you know in that queer adana abon chai na abon oda bata ya may you can't quite adana she was there and said it's not true manya ah can't quite adana and she hung up the call. No, are we together here? I will never in my life forget that day. Sa semna me kase me de manu. O kate konu. I did man one week. As if I was getting mad. Amen. Yeah. I didn't lie. I told the truth, but it was a half truth. Half truth. Half truth is deadly than full lie. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Integrity. Huh. Let me tell you guys something. That self entitlement you have kill it. That somebody have not helped you tomorrow, you better than the person is a lie. Life is not a Nigeria movie. No, I'm not talking to someone at all. You used to complain, my uncle, don't mind me. Today you are an uncle, you are an auntie. Who have you helped? I'm not talking to someone at all. It's better to help an outsider who respects you, who has integrity and character in value, than to help your family member who doesn't respect, who don't value anything, who don't even value the sacrifice you make to do things for them. Stop it. When you stop it, they will be ready to fight for their own. You are not clapping. A family member you help who is not grateful, is dangerous than the devil you are praying against. It's better to help an outsider who will be grateful and happy for what you have done than to help your family member who will use it to attack you in the future. I'm not talking to somebody at all. An ungrateful family member, you can never, you can never satisfy them. They will drink you today and finish you tomorrow and say you didn't, you didn't live a good life. I have been there before. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Integrity. Build the wall of security of integrity around your life. Build it. Be confident about it. Don't allow masquerade and don't allow charlatans around you. That will ferment and destroys and distract your life. Life is too precious. And destiny is governed by integrity. Protect your destiny. Protect everything that comes around you. Don't allow a pathological anointed liar, charismatic liar around you. Anybody that don't value what you do for them, how you, how you do things for them can never value your destiny that you are praying to live. You are not here. Do you know something? Do you have an integrity towards God? Look at the time you come to church. Look at when you are coming to church. Nothing shake you. Oh, I'm just going to church because... Be, why? I'm just going to church. No fear of the Lord. No fear. How many of you that Aku Father will send you an invitation? That I... Uh, I think yesterday your mama was in town. Right? Eh? Today... Is it today? Yeah. And your mama said, give you, you, you sitting here, an invitation. Come and meet me. And you'll be coming like the way you are coming. Will, will you go like that? Six thirty. will you come, will you get to the meeting the time you came to church? Check how you are, be, you are behaving around God. And write it down. Don't complain when you will need God and his father. Your character, you have no integrity when it comes to when it comes to dealing with God. No integrity. When we give you the work to do in church, you don't 
value it like your life depends on it. You are in the media department. What different are you doing? Nothing different. You should take it as a call. The way I preach here, this is my office. Any other thing is not part of whatever I'm doing. No, I'm not talking to somebody at all. Are we together? Was site when you mean I miss some water, mean I mix concrete. But there are there are members in the church who are not doing anything in the house, but they won't come. But tomorrow you see them sit there and say, We build this church. If you dare voice out that word, you and who build it? Only why. Better shut up. Am I talking to somebody at all? Ask this guy. When you came there, what was I doing? As I'm talking to you guys, I'm not feeling well. I'm telling you today. My back, if I sit down, it will take me time to stretch myself and get up. But I'm standing here, still screaming and preaching, walking up and down. Every day, I'm at the side, lifting six inches, mixing concrete, pulling it, seven blocks. What yeah? You are not serious. You are not serious. When we ask you to be in charge of sound, be in charge of camera, who the hell do you think you are? God has given you an opportunity to serve. Nobody has ever served God. And God, God forgets you. Humble yourself. Become useful. Become useful. Today, you guys will not see what you are. This girl is sitting here. It's through this projection somebody sponsored her to go to school. That money, if if they even sponsored me or sponsored somebody who is my family member, I wouldn't have been happy. She is not my family member. She doesn't bear the name I bear. We are not one blood. But by service to God, somebody saw it and it touched his heart. That is why I was asking some of you, when I'm traveling, what will push me to travel with you? No seriousness. No integrity. As a sound engineer, as, as a, a, a media person, you come to church whilst your pastor is preaching. Oh, yare. Oh, yare. You are not serious. Let's treat the things of God with caution and with all seriousness. Amen. Oh, Amen. I want everybody to help me pronounce this. What is the name of this church? If you know, can I see your hand up? Ah, none of you know. If you know the name of the church, let me see your hand up. Okay, only one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, what's your hand up? Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Lord bless you for knowing the name of the church. What is the name of the church? The rest of you, it's okay. Eh? It's okay, no problem. What is the name of the church? Eh? Prayer Ami International. Okay, what is the name of the church? Mommy, what is the name of the church? Eh? Did you see my name there? <laughs> Madam, please, did you hear Prosper there? I'm called Prosper. Did you hear Prosper there? to take the mantle and run with it you better live well sow the seed of integrity am I talking to somebody at all my mother never dreamed that the rejected boy maltreated guy will become a prophet but my grandmother treated me with all caution and care. Amen. Yes. My uncles that more and aunties that more treated me today. There are some of them, even if I call them, they are afraid to pick my call. I only want to check up on them, but they can't pick. But the uncles that how many of you were here when uh, my uncle came here? Yeah. And he's in charge of those long buses. He is the senior. He is, the, he is in charge of them. Very humble, but a very rich man who was sitting there very calm. He was even feeling shy. He used to hide food. After when all of them are done eating, he would call me to his room. He never knew 
this would be somebody if not by the mantle and the grace of God on my life he would have died by accident and arm robbers would have attacked him some other time any time there are times God would speak to me and I'll call him stop the car and he will stop passengers and they are angry and he said arm robbers are on the way when they I I seem to stop at is it carpenter carpenter number two or how do they call it number two I think they have carpenter one two three yeah number two the lord said he should stop at carpenter number two he stopped and the passengers got furious and angry i said tell them if you move the car the next 10 minutes there is an armed robbers that will shoot you guys into the into the into the bush when a, a bus is i walk traffic light your friend say esp that was the bus that came and passed them he didn't stop and they attacked them in between the uh, carpenter number two uh, number two and number three there is a bus that had an accident which even pastors lose their lives i stopped my ankle and that two buses came and bypassed and went and had an, uh, that accident so if he had not lived a good life and left a legacy of integrity what are you leaving behind Do you know there are some people when they don't come to church nobody miss them no how many of you are aware of that yeah when they don't come to church nobody miss them nobody even noticed that they have not come to church your integrity should be something important to you integrity integrity listen lose money lose whatever you can lose but your integrity protect you with all your strength and with all your mind if you lose your integrity i am telling you there is nothing left for you in life the lord bless you i say the lord bless you the lord keep you rise to your feet i want you to begin to pray that father help me help me and save me say in the name of jesus father i thank you for the word Lift up your voice and thank him. Pray. I want you to pray. Pray. Father, help me. Help me. Help me to have money and lack integrity is the most foolish thing you can ever have. So to have tasks and lack integrity, it doesn't make sense. To be popular and lack integrity in Jesus Christ. Listen, you see, those who practice prostitution, they have gotten to a state they have nothing to lose. So they don't care about integrity those who do lesbians and gay they have gotten to a level they have nothing to do with integrity you have a name to save you have a generation to save protect your integrity don't live like others don't behave like others amen yeah one one girlfriend should be okay for you am i talking to the guys here one boyfriend should be okay for you it will give you that peace of mind amen yeah integrity you see the young ladies walking by the roadside half naked what pains me what pains me more is that those in the church are more deadly and dangerous than even those by the roadside some of them have a little conscience of regret. But hey, those in the church, some of them, forget, they are a, they are a dress or they are a decorated wicked human beings. Very wicked. We give you church money to do something. One thing I will always be proud in my life that nobody as a leader or in the church can can say about me 
is that me, I pick church money. No, 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 no. Church money. Your offering is not with me. Hello? Is the is, is their offering with me? Please, your offering is with her. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. She know where she normally send it. Everybody look at her, look at her. So every offering you give, my way, never in your life stand anywhere and say, we give our offering to pastor. When they are taking the money, they do you see me? The only thing they will bring me, hello, is what? A book. Pastor, look at it and sign. Your money is not with me. Amen. Integrity. There are churches, as soon as they close service, they will gather all the money, pour it in a bag. The pastor and his wife to their car. Is that true of us? Yeah. It's not your money. It's not your money. It's their money. So they came to do business. The day the business will boom, the car will be full. I think, should I start doing that? I will bring a Ifeura Swami. <laughs> I will leave here with coins. <laughs> Amen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Integrity. Somebody is in abroad who have given you money to do something for them. Ladies and gentlemen, those in abroad, if you know they suffering, they suffer. Do you know those people, they don't sleep and wake up like the way you wake up. They sleep by time. They work by You can't sleep over time. You, won't, you can't explain anything. There is nothing like explanation. If you are late, you are sacked. That's why a white man will always be ill. If you are late, you can't explain. Unless maybe you had an accident or something terrible happened. That one will make sense. But late, I overslept. You are finished. That means you are not serious. They will change you and put a different person there. Who will give you money? Who will give you money to do something for them? You take the money and you do a different thing. The sweat of those people will be, it will be a burden and a curse on you. Am I talking to someone at all? The pen is 10 cities. You said 100 Ghana. You will pay for it. The pen is 1,000 cities. You say 10,000 Ghana. Say, hey! And the person is speaking in tongues. It's a Christian in the church. Somebody is in abroad. Hey! The, the cold in abroad. Ghana and Africa, we don't have cold. Am I talking to say in Sotoka Kra? Say, I want them. Go and see a friend of mine who just went to UK. Even when there was a son, small son, he said, Also, for I'm dying. If he wear three different coats on top and he look like a masquerade, amen. And when he talk, you can still see smoke, or is it vapor? Yeah. Anybody outside Ghana in abroad who give you even one Ghana city, two Ghana city, please, with all due respect, do the exact thing you ask the money for. Else, I'm telling you, it won't end well with you. Am I talking to somebody at all? The pains they go through, some of them, they sacrifice their all. If you look at their color, don't be deceived by how they look. If you look at some of them, their finger, their everything change about them. That's why you see cancer spreading. You see different kind of sickness. They will be sick and they will carry them back to Ghana. You, you are here. You say, oh, yeah, yeah. Muko emun de edu anepa. Odi edu anya. Ebe mena tima sevu ska. No, they are brow. What do I your mama din din din? Now di din kwasi asem. May God have mercy on all of us. I didn't hear that well. Your auntie or uncle is in abroad. You are not helping me. You are not helping me. My uncle is there. If they send you there, you, you will be study. Amen. Bambo, I can go America. Man, can you have weather condition? I say, me. Me, go. No. Until my pia, because she's a baby. I'm a boy. Yes, I'm a Jimmy. Satan, I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a Amen. Yeah. And people are living in that in that weather. In that weather. I want you to pray that Father, help me. I want to live right with you. I want to do the right things in, your, in my life. 
Lift up your voice and begin to pray. 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 in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Somebody give it to God. Uh, why? Is today Wamake Day? Today is Wamake Day. Ah, uh, no wonder. So all of them went to one market. No integrity. Hey. Okay. Lift up your offering. Lift up your offering. Somebody should pick this thing for me. What is it? Are you are you single? Ha! Huh? Hey, James, what's up, Bang Pao? Bo, Yehovah, huh? I should. Hey, Jesus. You did what? No, 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 my brother. You have to go back and write all of them. Poor. So, what is it about? Huh? Fire service. And they say you have gone face what? For stage two. You have finished all. <laughs> no, this is your resource there. I think I have to start requesting for everybody BC and West Sea Resource. The way Portia is looking at me, she won't bring her own. Amen. Okay. So what do you want? You want to pass the medicals? Yes, please. This resource there is God. <laughs> <laughs> what do you look at? <laughs> no, it's God. It's God. <laughs> uh, make sure when your your children are growing, this resource will be far away. Don't don't ever release it, no matter what. Father, help your son. I pray for success. Let the angels of this commission speak for him. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Can you lift up your offering? Lift up your offering. Rise to your feet. Say, I believe 
by this seed, my prayers are answered. And I believe by this seed, my prayers are sealed. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Please drop it. Why haven't you guys opened me here? Amen. Uh, where is your friend? Hmm. Eh? That's your auntie's daughter. Wow. Today I wanted to do a lot of things here, but the man is tired. Are very tired. How are you? Who did you came with? Come. How are you? Why are you laughing? Have you been here before? Why is Portia? Have you seen me before? Come, where do you come from? You come from Nandom. Where do you attend church? Saint Cecilia. Is that your friend? Hmm? Pardon? Your schoolmate at where? Where is Holy Family? Where you are doing the midwifery? That's your schoolmate. You are welcome to church. Which day were you born? Huh? You. Monday. Hmm. Go back. No, madam, you stand there. Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? Uh, calm down. Natalia, go back. Hello. Which, which day were you born? Huh? Monday. Madam, which day are you born? Eh? You are born on Monday. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Can I pray for you? Yes, uh, I think today people came and met a hot sermon. <laughs> and, and a different prophet. Oh, I mean, preachy said, oh. And now, no. <laughs> Oh, we see it. And I know the own. No, that, that's how it is. Friday is for, is for prophetic and deliverance. But today, my message changed. Amen. I think for the past weeks, they are, not, they are not getting it easy here. It's hot. Do you know what? The reason why I'm asking them, I didn't want to push it from my end to ask you. Something happened on Monday. Hello? Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, please. Hold her hand. Take a step with her. Take another step. Take another step. Leave her. Only you come back once. Stand there. Only you come back once. Yes. How many steps did you took? That's four. How many steps did you guys took? Mm -hmm. How many how many siblings are you? None. 
None. How many ladies are you? None. You are nine ladies, all of them. I said none. None. Yes. You are the only child. Yes. You are not one. One, two, three. You should have been four. Oh, okay. That's why I asked you to go back, leaving only you. You don't understand. Where is your mom? She's at home. Do you know the mom? Everybody be on your feet. Let's pray for her. I want us to pray for you for two things. Number one, somebody will become a politician from, from your bloodline. Look at me. And the person will become a dignity to this country. But hold on. This thing I'm seeing is something happened on Monday. And Monday will close and it got to Friday. Which day was your mom born? You don't know. Okay. Because all that I'm seeing is cobwebs. I'm trying to penetrate through to see more of what is really happening by cobwebs. Because I'm looking for a man and the man is nowhere to be found. Where is your father? Late. Your father is late. I'm looking for a man and the man is nowhere to be found. <laughs> All the place is cobwebs. Do you understand what I'm talking about? No, you don't understand? Yes. When I say I'm looking for somebody and I can't find it, he, he's dead. Amen. Amen. And Hazadevekaluvaruze. Madam, please kneel down. Can you kneel down? No, get closer. That place is hard. Somebody's wife, you allow her to kneel on this floor. Come and meet you. Let's pray for her because <laughs> you say you are from Nandom. Did you stay in Nandom? I'm seeing the letter Y. I will see S. I will see A. And I will see C. Do you have any idea of these letters? What is your father's name? Gregory. Eh? Gregory. Then Gregory what? Natale. Eh? Natale. Natale. Yes. Your father was having three names. Three names. Mm -hmm. There may be the other name I, I don't actually know. Mm. Give me oil. Where do you stay? Close to the hospital. Here. Yeah. Okay. Where? Which side? You have no... Are you staying on your own? No, no, no. no. With your family here? Yeah. Your mom is here? Yes, please. I would like to see your mom. Okay. When you go, tell, ask your mom politely that in the year 1985, what happened? Ask her how she and your father met. And after five years, what happened? Are you listening to me? You said you are the only child of your mom and your dad because a gap was there before your father took off. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You don't understand. Did your dad stay with your mom till he died? No, please. Eh? No, please. Were there separation? No, please. Where was your father? Well, 
at that time he was um, working then my mom too was still schooling mm -hmm. did they got married no, please. they never got married yes please. after five years there was a gap I'm professor you are not listening to me did you hear what I said they were very much in five years there was a separation you don't remember i said that she don't understand oh i understand i i, I get it clear you know I, have any prophet ever prophesied to you before no please. uh no wonder catholic i understand you madam don't worry yourself eh you 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 get to it on monday every monday you'll be around uh, god have will <laughs> that's why he gave us the program amen no monday monday i want more even more of unbelievers you the believers you are getting too much used to the to the prophetic yeah oh yeah let's pray for her there are errors you are not supposed to repeat them okay everybody stretch unto us say say father Dana. Deliver her. Fago Set her free. Awe Protect her. Go. And help her. Asongo. Clap your hands and pray for her. Kade bele koshali ante mendeli anka paradaba. Rapa pa kosha babante le karadi ante mendele kaparu ante. Ramande kaparado shade de bele kapante le ba. Rade de bele kosha de de bente le karadi ante mente. Ele mene kosha babante le kabra le ba. Iya baba kosha te te bende le kapre le ba. Zemene ne ge vente lianta kaparu ante Raba bako sepe le kavali anta ba Ika mante te pende le kusa babante le gaba Rade mene kaske vente le kusa pa Ili brante le kabanda la kaparado sepe le ta Remene ne ge vente le karu ante bende le kusa pante Le kaparabande le kaparado sepe le ba Raba bako sele brante le kapa Le bebe ge vente le kusa pante Teleka iya baba kusha baba teleka rwande be mende kven teleka kusha labrante ika papa rade ben teleka kusha baba araba baka pa ya de ben teleka pa rade ben de kusha labrante lebe bega de ben teleka kusha ba. Eka pala da bande le kapa remende kuanta kose pente le kapa iya baba gade bele kwente le kusha balaba rade mende kwente liante mende kwente liyaka tosha pa araba baba gade bele kapa pente le kapa rade mende kusha pente lebrante skwende le kapa rade mende kwente le kusha pente liante imana na kuanta pente araba baba kusha pele kapa rade mende kwente Tele kapa, ele kusha brante liante, imanda kuzi vende le kapa, rade de be le kapa, tele kapa, rade de ge vende kusha kapa, ele kuante pente le kuante, mene ne ge vente le kapa luante, ele kusha katante, ele grande kia papa ante, ika papa rade be le kapa, tele kapa, rade mene kusha vente le katuante, ele be be ge de vente le kapa, rade mene kusha vente, ika papa rade de bele kapante le ta le brante kuante toske ve iya baba gade bele kapante le kapa Zemene ne ge vente Ele kante liante pente Ika papara de bente Kuske vente Araba baka paya deba Remene ne ge vente Liaka toske ba Araba baku veliante Ele mente skivanda luante Araba baku ske vente Le kapa Araba baka pante Ele bende ske vente Le kapa Araba ndia katuante Kuske vente Araba baka paya deba Le kapa Rademe ne ge vente Le kapa diya Ele brante ske vente le kapa Rade mene ke vente le kapa Diante Ele bebe ge de vente le kapa Rabba bako ske vente le pa Ele mente ski vende liante Rebe be ko ske vente le kapa Rabba bako ske vente le kapa Lift up your voice and intercede on a behalf Ele bebe ge de belia kato ske va Ele mbelia katante ka Rede de ke te pete In Jesus Christ name Amen Father we thank you Jesus. Deliver your daughter and her family. Amen. What happened in the life of her mom will not happen to her. Amen. Preserve her. Amen. Protect her. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. 
Amen. Amen. Do you know anybody called Elizabeth? Yes. Who is that? That's my auntie. That's your auntie? Yeah. Uh, okay. We will get to it on Sunday morning. So see you on Sunday morning, okay? The Lord bless you. Amen. My daughter too will not go and look for a dark friend. Because you are fair, you also look for a, a fair friend. This one is called, show me your friend and I will show you my color. <laughs> Amen. Madam, clap your hands. You clap. Clap again. Clap. 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 How many times did you clap? About huh? five. Uh, who said it? <laughs> Come. Please, with all due respect, Come. Sunday. How many times did you clap? About five times. Five. About or five? Five. Five. Why is Ama? Ama. Yes. Who is Ama? And who is Sewa? In the realms of the spirit, somebody is trying to penetrate into a place. Hello, do you know anybody called Sewa? The lady number ends 4423. How many siblings are you? We are five. You are five. Your mother has five children. Four with one adopted. So you are five. Yes. How many times did you clap? Five. Five times. Can you celebrate God? Hold on. The issue there is... <laughs> I, see a, I see somebody take a U-turn. This person is a man. He took a U-turn because... There is a shift in the realms of the spirit against. Why am I seeing somebody teaching? Why am I seeing somebody teaching? What work does your father do? He was a manager. Eh? He was a manager. Manager at where? He was having his own company. Company. But who is teaching? Why am I seeing somebody teaching? My elder sister is a your teacher. Your elder sister is the teacher. Which day was she born? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Which day were you born? Tuesday. Tuesday. Because I'm seeing somebody teaching. And the reason why the person is teaching, the person will stop teaching soon. Because she wants to, the person wants to leave Ghana. True. Eh? It's she true. told you she wants to leave Ghana. Because the person will be teaching and I see the, uh, the person writing on, more can I say, uh, Maka. That's slippery thing is called what? Uh, it's not blackboard. Wabong. I say blackboard. Blackboard was the one we used to. Hey! Chalk, chalk. That and is it still there? Chalk. Then Ghana, our presidents are wicked. <laughs> I'm talking of this one. Maka, maka. Right now, cry, they don't even use maka in each screen. That was a me. I'll build schools. So when I build them, no child, every child with a tablet. Yeah. But don't tell me you are a member here so we should reduce the fees unless i'm giving a scholarship else your children will pay you are not supposed to send your child anywhere to <laughs> why are you guys laughing if you are a member here, madam are you listening to me your children will attend my school and the school fees too will be high because it's a high standard school joseph do you hear me yeah eh? it's not normal <laughs> You see, they will not allow her to travel because of two things. Because one, two. How many ladies are you? Two. You are two ladies. If you are clapping, do it better. Hold on. Is she married? No. Does she have a child? No. She doesn't have a child. 
All her life, her children will be three. But it's reducing to two. Because she have, she have made some errors with one foolish guy. And it will cost her a lot. Go and tell her that a man of God gave you a warning to pass to her. That no matter the condition, a man in your abortion, a man in your beam. Can you say, a man in your beam? In your beam. And this is our come. Amen. Do you like her? Do you love her? Yes. Are you sure? Can we pray for her? Yes. Can we pray for you? Yes. Are you sure? Everybody stretch out to us here. Why am I seeing the letter Jean? Does it make sense to you? You are actually of the letter Y, A, S. None of them make sense to you. They are still flying on my eyes like this. Oh, Jesus. What am I doing in Tadi? Takrade. Takrade. That's where my elder brother's father stays. That's where your, your elder brother's father stays. Because your mom should have been in Tadi. Do you hear what I said? Because I'm tracing the spirit of your mom. Have you been to Takradi before? No. You have never been there. Have your mom been, been to Takradi before? No. Say you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you are not with your mom. Amen. Yeah. Because something is coming from Takradi. What is your name? Della. Eh? Della. Is she a friend to you? Eh? Pick your phone. And then my brother make a pass and my mom. We ain't coming pong. Eh? Come and stand here. You stand here and face me. Open your lock. Take me to her WhatsApp. We need to cancel something which have been programmed and systemized against you. Because if we enter into a place, count one, two, three. Where is your phone? Remove your phone. Also stand there. Stand with him. Have, have you counted? Yeah. Open it. It's okay. Who is that? Lydia. Eh? Lydia. Who is that to you? She's a cosmate. A what? Cosmate. Okay. Count one, two, three. Open. Eh? XRC what? Executives. The confusion I'm talking about. Are you close to any XRC executive in your school? Because I've landed in a place that, that's why I'm seeing people teaching. Hello? Are you listening to me? NG. Doesn't make sense. What is your school name? Dr. Hilary Liman Technical University. Does it make sense? Ah, is that the same school you attend? Is she your girlfriend? Ah. This girl, pa. Are you not the LCC president? That's why <laughs> this girl, oh, oh, problem. So, inside that group, that's why I say I'm seeing the confusion. You are dating somebody in that group. And he's the one. Yes. Hmm. 
But if you don't pray hard, something is coming from voter region. It's a, it's a force. Serious force. And this force, you give up on her. Are you listening to me? It's, a serious, it's not about her herself, but the force is coming. Because anybody that married before the age of 36 will have to deal with this force until either they'll give birth with the man two or three and the man will leave them. Or they will go and become a second wife. And they'll have only three children and nothing will be added. Do you know a place called Akati? Or is it Akati? That's where my auntie used to stay. That's where your auntie used to what? Stay. Akawat. Akachi. Akachi. Celebrate God. Bra. Sunday. Give me oil. You see, I'm tired. That's why I'm cutting things short, short. Don't allow anybody in that group to be close to your girlfriend. Eh? Fight, oh. No, for love, they will allow you to fight. There are some love. You have to fight for those people. Why are, are you turning your face? No, there are some people, if you love them, eh, fight. Sure. The way Isa have been fighting to even have a non-believer. His girlfriend is a non-believer, a Muslim girl. Eyes. What is that? Have you have you have you broke up with her? She broke your heart or you broke up with her? Eyes, this one, I don't believe you. She broke your heart. You have used somebody's daughter and you left her. And and after my warning, you stop. You advise yourself. Eh? If you have anything to do with a non-believer, it's better to marry a Christian girl who don't have sense. We can correct her to have sense. A non-believer, you are in trouble. Ah, I didn't say anything bad though. At least that one, we can still preach to them. And we will blast them and they will know we are talking to them. But the one that nobody preached to, you will see Shege. Ah, did you hear what I said? Fight, oh. No, me, if you love her, fight to keep her. Don't, don't do lose God. Fight. Fight. Me, the only person I can, I can entertain is a disrespectful woman. Or a, every human, if you are disrespectful, I, can, I just can't have you around me. Disrespectful. You are too proud. No, no, no. Emfa. Emfa, emfa. Emfa, kura. And a liar. Ah. Uh, Oh, Emfa. Have you ever lied to him? Do you love him? Yes. Yes. Oh. You don't go and learn and be chopping love. Hmm. Straight on to where, sir? Where is your GPA? 4.5. Ha! Ah! Ah! Hey, all the students, be on your feet. Clap for her. Hey! Four point. Five. Is that true? Five. And you, your own is what? 4.0. What bongo? You are you are entering into first class students. That's a first class. Uh, 4.5, they're first class. And you do first class. Hey. No, but I like your increase it. Make it 5.1. No, ah, it can. Uh, no, it's five, it's five rather. Yeah. Break the record. No, Aka five. Eh? Faka on. Of flower and I can't just pass the same in Eh? Yeah. Who is your We are to check your time. Thirty minutes. Love, love talk. After thirty minutes, data off. No, thirty minutes is okay. Yeah. Who are better boys, zongo boys, and carpenters and fitters? 
And I will. Joseph, did you hear what she said? You didn't hear it. Did you hear what she said? Nail down, let me pray for you. About down from Kwana Bemi. So do you put Bema over and Southern Baba my office? In some of my canoe, pop it up. Those of you that are dating multiple guys, me, I will tell them, oh, I will not, put, I will not put prophetic aside. Don't be burning your head. Lift your head. Lift your head. All of you, lift your. Head. Why are you guys looking backwards? I'm talking to all of you. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell them. So you better. There is one of my, my, some of my daughters here. I don't know how they, they are be able to keep the men. I'm even talking. One of them is even receiving message from one of the guy. Now, guy, no so what time cry? Yami mo ama me. Iradin chow. Iradin bon hobai. Amen. Iradin sau yari. Amen. On June free, a day bia obon sama shisha te we busiyan. Amen. E we Yesu de munti. Amen. Amen. Patience. Who is that? Patience. I know, I know a lot of patience. Patience. Dash B. I'll get to it. The Lord be with you. Amen. Is there anybody want to give me a seed? Can I have envelopes? Okay. I'm, 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 raising, I'm raising money for... The project, any amount you can give, just come for my envelope. Sunday, any amount you can give. Is there anybody who wants my envelope? The Lord bless you. Oh, you can clap. Stand there, stand there, stand there. Yeah, how much? Okay, stand there. Any other person? Oh, any amount. I have not given an amount. Any amount you can give. Lift it up. I pray the Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord give you finances that you'll be a blessing to generations. Amen. Let doors be opened unto you. Amen. Let favor be granted unto you. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Maybe you want to give me money. You can bring it to me. Anybody want to give me money? Or you have my envelope. Or you have your tight. Work to me. Tam Koyinyanyampong. What is that? Is that my envelope? Tight. Hey! <laughs> Acho! Where? Are how many months are there? One month. Yehovah. The Bible said, bring you all tight and I will break the devourer. The Lord break every devourer. Amen. The Lord help you. Amen. The Lord preserve you. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Go and give it to the secretary. Please rise to. Is there any testimony? You have a testimony. Okay, give him a mic. Oh, come forward. Come. Good evening, everyone. Don't hold mic like that. Look at the way I hold it. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, so I, I don't know whether I should call it a testimony, but yes, it's a testimony because it has happened. Um, I can't remember the actual date, but I think that was somewhere last year. We hosted a program here and then we invited some pastors to, came, to come. Sorry. So um, during the prayer, the pastor that was on stage, he was preaching and then he prophesied to me. He said, uh, in the year... 2024, 2nd August, which is actually today, something will happen. Something will happen. It is going to worry me, but I shouldn't worry. They are going to remember me in prayer. So I wrote the date down. I think that the, you wrote the date for me in a yellow paper. And then I kept it in my camera bag since last year. So you, every day, like when I'm praying, I pray over this particular day. 
And then uh, something happened. I was actually expecting, you know, to see something that would distract me today, but it didn't happen. Last three weeks ago, I'm doing my attachments in Japa Senior High. I went to Nadoli and then I left my camera there. No one was using it. I went to school, came back, picked the camera on it, and it wasn't coming. I tried always. It wasn't coming. And then I called Accra and they said it was the board, which was worth 3,000 Ghana cities just for the board. The transportation and the fixing wasn't part. And then it was on Friday. And then the coming Friday, I was using an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is worth 4,800 Ghana cities. I charged it. I think, yeah, I charged it. And then it was 26% before I charged it. I entered a hall, came back, and then my room was filled with smoke. So I entered and then I realized the phone also got bent. So I was, I was really worried. In fact, <laughs> it wasn't easy. I, 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 I took my motorbike that particular morning. I was going to Nadoli. And those who know the Nadoli, the uh, Sombosari Peri Road, I entered the portals without knowing I even entered them. So it's, it's, it's a, a prophecy I'm giving, but I want to think. Who was the pastor? I can't remember. What program was it? I just can't remember, but I wrote the dates down. So mm. was, I, I, I thought that what I was expecting to happen today happened earlier because, you know, I was praying towards this particular day, but not praying for the days wow. that were passed. So I want uh, to thank Last year, Prof. when was that? When was that? I'll get to know the... the, the so Is I, the person in Wa or outside Wa? Um... I think the person because is I'm not targeting, in I'm targeting, it should be Pastor Prempe. Is it uh, Bishop Prempe? Yeah, that's Bishop Prempe. He came last year. After he came last year, last year, because I remember, it seems Pastor Prempe prophesied to Thomas too. Yeah. What program was it? Uh... It was an anniversary. It was, um, 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 it has something to do with Jesus. Um, you guys should search and get me that. It's, it's Bishop Prempe. It's Bishop Prempe. Yeah. You see why it's, it's important to come for such programs. Amen. Yeah. We pray, so you bent for, uh, how much? 4,000 Ghana CD. 4,800 Ghana CDs and my, my camera, which is... The camera worth, is spoiled. Yes, it's, it's also worth 7,000 Ghana CDs. Sir? Yes. Eh. So I lost more than 10,000. Do you know why I called you to come? No, sir. <laughs> you guys, you thought he came to church by himself. What time did I call you? <laughs> I was at the site. You see, let me show you something. Have you seen this, my, knee, my finger? Everything is like it's broken. I pick a block and this guy's face appeared on the block. So I tried to do and the thing choked my hand. I was like, ah, what is happening to this guy? <laughs> Has he fallen? Because it looked like he had an accident or something bad has happened. So I call him immediately. And I say, I see me in the office. I want to see you. That's why he is in church. He wasn't coming to church. Will you have come to church? You wouldn't have come. Actually, no, because I'm currently uh, at a program at uh, the Right Honorable Speaker, Bagwin's house. So, Why? Bagwin is in town? No, his wife. They came for the bishop ordination in the stadium. So after the program, yes, after the program. Which bishop ordination? Uh, now a new bishop. Yes. So uh -huh. after the ordination, the woman said we should go to his house. So I actually came from there, and the program is still ongoing. So I... Just told them I had to come to town to do something urgent. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. You see, you need a prophet in your life. Stop all this arrogance and I know and I can pray. You, well, I'm not saying you can pray. You, need, you see, every car needs a jack. When your tire have a fault, do you know what you need? You need a jack to be able to stand. If it wasn't one of my friend prophet, by now I would have died. I'm a prophet, but the thing, 
got close to me. The guy called me in the night. He said, prophet, leave your house. Something is coming. And pray this prayer. So, Monday is going to be serious. It's going to be fiery furious. Mm. Sunday morning, I will do something called pray, I prophesy. Ah. That is what I'm doing this week mm. till the program. And Sunday evening, my dinimi igada. Kale brada haya. I will be anointing you and we will be moving into another dimension. Amen. Amen. And Monday morning, no, Sunday evening, sh we shouldn't do. Yeah, I will, I will try and see if Sunday morning we will finish. Sunday evening we will come. Uh, yeah, baby. We will come and do finish work. The Monday morning, Monday we start 8 a.m. Can you push me the program? Why are you sitting there like somebody who is begging to leave? <laughs> Amen. Okay. Let me pray for you. Any spirit of uncertain issues and occurrence around your life, may God defend you. Amen. The angels of this commission will defend you. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. You are protected. Amen. Ice, you remember I warned you against police issue. Have they arrested you? Um... It was an arrest in a way. They didn't send me to the police station, but I nearly went there. It was by the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't what? It wasn't easy at all. It was just God. <laughs> it was on Saturday that um, I went and ate rice from a friend. There wasn't even meat. So I came home and then I wanted to rest more. So in about some five minutes time, a friend called me that he had they've murdered someone in war. Mm -hmm. So he said he will come to my place and then we go. I said, okay. In less than three minutes, not knowing the guy was around my area, so he came. And then we went to the scene. So when we got there, we greeted someone. And then he said I should find a place and stand and use my phone to video for him. He wants to do a story with it. I said, okay, not knowing this PID, those they call the anti robbers. Mm -hmm. They also uh, gave a warning that no one should take a picture or video the scene. So I didn't know. I just removed my phone. I tried to video, and then someone came in, stood in front of me. So I moved, started the recording again. Someone came. So the third one, one big Walla man just held my hand. He was like, Babel, can you just take my video? Chair? And then they started passing me. Before I realized I was sitting in front, sorry, at the back of a quite new uh, pickup. <laughs> so people, <laughs> people came. Did they put you handcuffs on your hands? No, 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 no. They pushed you into the car. I was at the back. So the man, not knowing the man I greeted when we got to the scene, mm -hmm. he was one of them. So he came and he was like, oh, but this guy just came. What happened? So they narrated the story to him, and he said, I wasn't there when they gave the announcement. Mm. So they should put me in the car. So I entered the car, and then they owned the AC. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when I'm warning some of you, you won't listen. I think it was one of the prophetic service, and I call him from the back. And I said, police case is coming. Be careful. I told you of friends that a friend put you into trouble and they will arrest you. May God help you. Amen. Always be in church. <laughs> it is well. Amen. Mama, my own time is gone. Hallelujah. Mm, last Friday, na na medaya na minti minda. Then Papa can say, "Wow, we are born on Mount Payama." But I never knew we had a baby and a man. After that, Papa bomb pay a man, Meda, Mitimida, me whom you be so, Meda, Timidina Habit, and your man say, Me whom you are now we and be so so done so and never be in so ya quadro. Amen. Rise to your feet. I speak into your life, the Lord help you. The Lord deliver you. Amen. The Lord set you free. Amen. As you are living here, you are a champion. Amen. In your dreams, you encounter with God. Amen. May God send people to bless you. Amen. May God send your helpers on your way. Amen. You are blessed beyond measures. Amen. You are favored beyond measures. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Now, surely, 
all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and as we are going and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for that is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen hallelujah please sit down for a second on Monday this is the program that is coming on we are having prophet Ignatius Wesley prophet Paul Dasa prophet Egandare prophet Kunapo Bernard Mm. And listen, it's going to be powerful here. Don't miss it. Don't joke with it. It's going to be serious. It will be Monday morning. Monday, 8 a.m. Amen. Monday what time? 8 a.m. Sunday to morning, we start church 8 a.m. Try and be in church. It's going to be powerful. So Sunday morning, I'll be doing pray, I prophesy. Amen. To open the way for the Monday program. So see you on Sunday. And then we prepare for Monday. The Lord bless you. Have a good night.